Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. It's Erica with Tiny Acorn. So today's video is going to be all about styling prints and mixing patterns. And as you can see behind me, I have pulled out all of my different prints and patterns from my closet. We're going to be mixing them all together today and I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to pair patterns together for a nice cohesive look. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And if you haven't subscribed, ring that bell down below and that way you're notified every time I post a new video. Stay tuned. Okay, so before we get into the video, I just wanted to talk about my outfit of the day today. This adorable little vintage inspired blouse um, was gifted to me by Cezanne. And you guys, I am obsessed with Cezanne. When I went to Paris, I went to the store, I got my um, olive green chore jacket that I love so much. I was so excited when they reached out to me and I wanted to send me a few things. So this blouse I'm wearing today is from Cezanne. I'll link it below if you guys want to pick it up. It's like my dream blouse. And then I also got another really, really cool shirt from them. This other gorgeous blouse that has this really cool modern print on it. Oh, it's so pretty. Intuition, liberty, courage, love, creativity. And there's these beautiful pictures, abstract pictures of women's bodies on it. It's just a beautiful print that kind of encapsulates uh, the beauty of a woman in an abstract form. <laughs> So I'm gonna be styling with this one today and I'll link it down below for you guys too if you wanna pick it up. And my jeans, I am wearing my favorite right now, my Levi's ribcage straight leg crop. And I'm also wearing these gorgeous shoes that Nisolo gifted me. This is the Paloma Mule and Sand. And um, they're great dancing shoes. I actually posted a video of my husband and I dancing on my Instagram and I was wearing these shoes and they stayed on my feet like the whole time. Um, I was really surprised at how comfy they were. So I've been wearing these a lot lately and I will link these for you guys if you're interested in picking them up. Okay, so let's get started. So when it comes to mixing patterns and prints, there really are no rules, but there are a few guidelines that you can kind of follow to help you as far as creating a more cohesive look. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about all of the different types of patterns. You have floral, big floral, small floral. There's also stripes, which is one of my personal favorites. I love me a good stripe. There's plaids, animal prints, gingham. When I pulled out all my clothes, I noticed that I have an overwhelming amount of black and white gingham, which is really funny. I guess I really like this type of print. Then there's also your traditional polka dot. You have paisley prints as well, which can be really bohemian looking. You have your ethnic prints, which can be from different cultures from around the world. Your abstract prints, which are more kind of like abstract modern designs. Then there's two that I don't have examples of, and that is camouflage and tie-dye. I'm sure there's a bunch of other prints and patterns that I'm missing. If I forgot one, let me know in the comment section below. But in general, these are the most popular patterns and prints that we're going to be working with. All right, let's go ahead and talk about color. So every print and pattern will have like a background or a base color and you can use this color to help create harmony in your entire outfit if you pair two pieces together that have the same background color or base color then it's going to create a co cohesive look that kind of marries the two prints together so for example if you're trying to style up some florals for the winter time i would suggest sticking with a floral print that has a base color of black those are typically what are described as like your winter florals. So for this outfit, I paired a black floral dress with my black quilted coat. And the reason that this outfit works together is because it's cohesive in that both of the background colors are black. Also, the prints are different sizes, which we will get to later. So for this outfit, I picked the base color of green. I paired the green plaid skirt with plain green blouse underneath, and then I put the green jacket on over the top. So it's all cohesive because it's all 
the green base color. Another example is this blue outfit here with the blue plaid dress and then the blue in the pinstripe jacket. So that kind of creates this cohesive look where I'm taking a plaid and I'm mixing it with a stripe and it goes together because of the light blue. Another example of this is using a background color of white. So for this outfit, I went ahead and paired my blue and white pinstripe pants with a white plaid shirt. So the plaid shirt actually has pink and other colors in it. It doesn't even have blue in it, but it goes with these pants because they both share that base color of white. Another color tip, go for a monochromatic look. So if you do the same color from head to toe, that creates cohesion and allows you to mix lots of different prints and patterns together. So for example, I styled up this monochromatic look using my brown snakeskin skirt and a brown polka dot blouse. I also paired it with a belt that had a print on it as well. So there's kind of a lot going on in this outfit, but it actually looks really good and cohesive because of the fact that it's brown from head to toe. I also went ahead and added on a coat. There is brown within the plaid pattern, so it still ties in cohesively with the outfit. So for this other monochromatic look, I went with purple. Such a fun color and I don't wear it a ton, but I have this really awesome vintage 70s jumpsuit. It's purple and it's striped and silky and amazing. So I decided to pair it with one of my grandma's hand-me-downs, this purple and blue, just cool burgundy striped blazer style coat. So I paired that over the top of this jumpsuit and I really like how it looks together. I feel like the purple on purple really ties in, even though they're both striped patterns, it still goes because the purple just ties everything together. Another example of a monochromatic outfit is this fun outfit that I have on here with my navy blue and white striped pants. To top it off, I put on one of my favorite pieces right now, which is this beautiful quilted handmade silk lined Asian inspired jacket. I got it from Depop from the seller Rock the Rad. And you guys, I felt like I had hit the jackpot because this coat was only $30. Can you believe it? It's so amazing. So when I paired this whole look together, I felt like it really works because I feel like this theme of navy blue kind of goes throughout the whole outfit and in every single print and pattern, and it really just ties it all together. So I decided to see what it would look like with my other Asian inspired robe. So I threw that one on and also because it has the navy blue, it ties in really nicely and I really like the way that it ended up looking. Okay, so if you want to get into more advanced pattern mixing, then you can start to get into pairing complementary colors together, pairing analogous colors together, and also going for more of like jewel tones or pastels when it comes to mixing the colors. But we don't have time for all of that today, so I'm gonna go ahead and just move on. Okay, so let's talk about prints. There are so many different kinds of prints and so many different ways to mix them. So you can actually pair some of the same prints together in two different colors, like this outfit that I'm wearing here and this like periwinkle blue dress with the brown. It is a really fun look. You can also pair the same print together in just different sizes. So for example, with this plaid look here, my plaid skirt has a very, very small print and the jacket is a giant buffalo plaid jacket. So the scale of the prints goes together because you have one that's smaller and one that's bigger. And what this does is this actually gives your eye a break when you're looking at it. If it's all over the same size <laughs> pattern and print, it's a little overwhelming for the eye. And so to be able to let your eye rest a little bit on the bigger pattern, that creates more of a harmonious look and something that's more appealing to the eye. Another example is this black floral outfit. I used a dress with a smaller floral print and I mixed it with this coat that has a big bold floral print on it. And the outfit goes together because of the harmony that's created between the base color and also the fact that the prints are different sizes. All right, so another color tip is using one color to tie in all of your prints. Pick one unifying color that is in every single pattern that you're wearing. For example, I have these striped pants on with a gingham top, and then I threw on my kimono style robe over the top of it. 
And although these prints are very different um, and different colors too, what works is the fact that there is a navy blue running through every single pattern. And that one color really works to tie all of the prints together. Also, you can see in this outfit that the scale of the prints are all different sizes. You have the really, really small gingham checkers on the top, the stripes on the bottom that are not as busy as the top, and then the robe has a very big, bold print. So because of the fact that all of these prints are different sizes, um, it does have a cohesive look to it, and it doesn't overwhelm your eye when you're looking at the outfit. Another example of using one color to unify prints is this outfit with my Cezanne blouse. This blouse has a lot of pink and red and blue and white in it, so I paired it with this skirt, which is actually a very, very small printed plaid. And it's a red and white plaid, but because of how small the print is, it actually looks a little bit more pink. So it pairs really nicely with the Cezanne blouse because the Cezanne blouse has a lot of pink and red in it. So I love this outfit. It looks really cohesive with all the colors going together. So another example of using one color to tie everything together is this outfit I'm wearing with the green skirt. I paired it with this sweater that is cream, but also has green in it and it's plaid, so it works well together. Another example is going to be this plaid red skirt paired with my red laurel quilted coat. So the reason this outfit works together is because there's white not only in the skirt, but also hints of white in the pattern on the jacket and the white blouse that I'm wearing ties all of that in and makes it look more cohesive. A helpful tip if you want to just start out with prints is to go with like a printed suit um, or something that has a similar effect. So for this first look, I took my vintage pinstripe suit and I paired it with my white plaid shirt. Both patterns have a base color of white in them, so it makes it look more cohesive. I also just like how the pants and the coat match. Another sort of example of this is this outfit that I have on with this jacket and this skirt that have super, super similar patterns. I bought them separately, but they do almost look like a matching set. And because they look so similar, I felt like I could pull it off. Even though their base colors are slightly different shades of red, I feel like it does kind of create the suit set type of look. And I paired it with the white blouse underneath it because I felt like that kind of tied everything together. And the white plaid blouse also gives your eye a chance to rest because the rest of the outfit is very busy. For this outfit, I went ahead and paired my gingham skirt with my white and black striped top and then I paired it with my red floral quilted coat. And then I topped it off with a red paisley scarf. There's kind of a lot going on in this outfit, but I think it works because I feel like the white unifies the outfit. Now, if I were to have on a blouse that was also a very small print, it wouldn't work. The skirt is a small print, the blouse would be a small print, and then the jacket has a small print. So you really need to mix it up and have also small scale and large scale prints in your outfits. That way people's eyes aren't overloaded and overwhelmed when they're looking at you. So if you're just starting out with pattern mixing and you want some easy ways to kind of dip your toes in the water, I would suggest starting out by mixing two of the same pattern, like stripes on stripes, like I did in this outfit here. Um, different colors, same pattern. You can also try incorporating printed accessories, like this gorgeous Cezanne scarf. Scarves are a really, really fun way to add a print to your outfit. Or you can incorporate a bag with a print on it, like this cute one I got from Wild Moon Collection. Um, or this one that I thrifted with this like sort of tapestry look to it. Add this to your outfit to kind of add that extra pop of fun. And you can always mix the pattern in your purse with the pattern in your blouse and kind of go from there. I would suggest if I were you, pull out all of your prints and patterns, lay them out so that you can see them and just start pulling things together. Experiment with color. Use color to bring harmony to an outfit. I would start with one piece and then go throughout your wardrobe and pull out other pieces that have similar colors 
So I would pull out maybe something that has dark brown in it, or maybe something that had this, this light brown color, or even white. So you can just pull colors right out of the pattern, and that'll help you when it comes to choosing a piece to mix with it. You'll know when you look in the mirror, you'll be able to tell like if something is going or if it's a little bit too overwhelming. Think about the scale of the patterns. Are they different sizes? Does your eye feel overwhelmed or does your eye feel like it's exciting and interesting, but there's still places that you can rest your eyes on your outfit? Try different things on and see if they go together. You don't have to get overwhelmed. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and ring that bell. That way, every time I post a video, you'll be notified. If you guys want some more pattern mixing inspiration, head on over to my Pinterest. I will link it in the description box for you. I have a whole board dedicated to pattern mixing, so you can get so much inspo there. So follow me on Pinterest. I'm always posting tons of fashion inspo, you guys, so I'd love to see you over there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Remember that fashion is fun. Feel free to just enjoy yourself play with your clothes, have happy accidents, and of course remember that you are beautiful just the way you are. Bye! I paired the green plaid skirt with plain green blouse underneath and then the green from the... and then I put on a green abstract printed... or in a, and then I put on a green... and then I put on the green top over... The green, I mean, I put the green jacket on over the top. No. Why don't you turn that light on? Huh? Why don't you turn that I light forgot on? forgot about it. It's okay, I have enough light. 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 I can't, can you turn it off? Because it's going to cast this yellow now. It's barely even yellow. It's going to, but it's going to change everything. It has to be consistent. Uh, life. Hold on. What? What are you doing? I'm begging you. Don't burn that. <laughs> Why? Please. Please. Why? It's my it favorite. it chokes me out. What do you it mean it chokes me you out? It chokes me out. I can't breathe. Please. I don't like it. I'm begging you. <laughs>